takribani makato ya nyumba za BNFU ndani ya mswada wa fedha wa mwaka 2023 katika uamuzi wa mjaji David Majonja, Christine Meloni na Lois Mugambi sheria haikufuatwa katika kubuni ada ya nyumba ya BNFU serikali kupitia kwa mawakili wake wameomba muda wa siku tano kuangazia sababu zilizosababisha ada hiyo kuwa kinyume cha sheria the petitioners have not demonstrated how the housing levy directly affects the salaries and benefits of protected officers, state officers, and how it violates Article 160 and 258 of the Constitution in that regard. Our reading of uh, Article 210, 3 of the Constitution is clear. It provides that no law can exclude or authorize exclusion of state officers from payment of tax by reason of the office of that state officer or the nature of work of that state officer. The petitioner's submission that front also fails on the ground that the housing levy is a general tax that applies generally to all taxpayers and to us included. So having considered all the matters placed before us, we now conclude as follows, and this is what we state. The Finance Act is a money bill within the meaning of Article 114 of the Constitution. However, it contains some matter that do not fall within the purview or incidental to a money bill, although, it, although this does not change its basic character and substance as a money bill. The specific extraneous matters identified by the court pertain to amendment of the Kenya Roads Board Act 1999 through Section 76 and 78 of the Finance Act, amendments to the Unclaimed Assets Act by Section 87 of the Finance Act and repeal of Section 21 of the Statutory Instruments Act by Sections 88 and 89 of the Finance Act. These amendments are extraneous to a man, money bill and are therefore Na mtazamaji ni tarifa ambayo tutakuwa tunaifuatilia kwa ukaribu mwanabari wetu Henry Tende akiwa atakuwa atakupakulia taarifa hiyo kwa kina mwendo wa saa kumi. Na...